Hey there crypto enthusiasts, ever wonder why some tokens are worth a fortune while others fizzle out? Or how these digital assets can fuel entire ecosystems? Well it's all about tokenomics. Today, we're diving into the economics of tokens and what makes them tick. Let's give the floor to Vladimir Smirkus, who will break it down in simple terms. Hello everyone, this is Vladimir Smirkis, and today we will talk about a word or a definition that is fundamental for all crypto projects. I'm sure you've heard it. Tokenomics, tokenomics, tokenomics. The tokenomics of specific project determines whether we will invest in it or not. So, what does tokenomics really mean? Let's figure it out together. So, tokenomics is the economy of tokens. Well, most crypto projects, blockchain projects have tokens. Tokenomics is the way these tokens interact with each other and the rules they follow. How much tokens will be allocated to investors? How much will be allocated to the audience? How many tokens will be burned? And how they will interact within the project? First and foremost, tokenomics should define the purpose of the tokens, or as it is now commonly referred to, the utility of these tokens, meaning the way they will be used. For example, for some blockchains, tokens are used as means of payment for fees within transactions, within the network, or as so-called gas. This is the most utilitarian and straightforward way. For example, in many cases you need exchange tokens to participate in launch pads and launch pools, which involve the distribution of tokens. You can stake or collateralize your tokens, and depending on their amount and the size of the staking, you will receive tokens of new projects that are listed on exchanges. Therefore, we should determine the purpose of the tokens as the first step. Secondly, tokens can motivate users to perform certain specific actions within the project. Also, tokens often serve as means of payment within a project. Specifically, Bitcoin is simply a peer-to-peer, -peer electronic cash system, a payment system based on decentralized information storage, decentralized verification of transactions, and so on. Therefore, its utility is very clear. In some blockchain games, tokens are used as payment method for participating in these games. Then the big question is, why do you need tokens and blockchain coins if you can pay with dollars, euros, rubles, or any other currency? Undoubtedly, the project itself needs tokens to have a so-called treasury, from which they will pay for marketing expenses, team salaries, and so on. Investors need tokens so that they can invest real money or use DET at the early days of the project and then receive their profit by selling their share of tokens. How is tokenomics formed? Well, of course, here, as in any economic model, the initial market supply of tokens is being formed. Sometimes all the tokens are released to the market at once, and sometimes tokens can be additionally minted. Also, tokens are often used to perform so-called governance or management. Token holders can vote using their votes or tokens for a particular decision. For example, to implement some technological improvement to the product or to repaint the project's application green. Of course, I'm joking now, but nevertheless, Voting on various decisions is very often based on using tokens. This is called a DAO, a Decentralized Autonomous Organization, or DAO Governance, the management of the project's life by those who hold a larger number of tokens rather than a smaller number. Tokens exist on the blockchain, so they are completely transparent, and we can see what percentage of tokens is held by a major holder or a group of major holders, how many are held by regular users, how often they move, and the number of performed transactions. All of this can be checked with the help of so-called blockchain explorers or scanners, for example. In TUN, there is TUN scan, there is Ether scan for Ethereum, there is BNB scan for coins created on the BNB chain blockchain, and so on and so forth. Therefore, the transparency of tokens undoubtedly exists when we talk about public blockchains and public tokens created on these blockchains. What should you pay attention to when you want to analyze the tokenomics? First, you need to consider the distribution of tokens. If the project founders hold the lion's share of the tokens, while the other participants have very few, this should raise some significant questions for you. Will the price be determined fairly and transparently? If the owners decide to dump all their tokens on the market, it will, accordingly, crash the price. Therefore, the distribution should be more honest or more fair. The second point is the utility of tokens. 
how the tokens will be used within the project and what they are needed for. Therefore, the token economy should be tied to utility, something the token is needed for. The key thing you need to pay attention to within the project and comprehend for yourself is whether the demand will increase over time, whether the demand will grow as the product develops, or if it is a one-time event that could end up with unfortunate consequences for you. And thirdly, the economic incentives for project participants, how they will actually engage in the life of the project. Will it be voting? Will the tokens be used within the project? For example, for staking, where you can stake a certain amount of tokens, earn rewards for that, and so on, and so on, and so on. And fourth, it is important to understand the way tokens life is expected to continue after the release of tokens within the project. Well, typically what happens is that team members write a white paper based on their mains idea, often create an MVP or initial product that demonstrates its viability, then the token listing occurs meaning that tokens start becoming liquid on centralized or decentralized exchanges, even on large tier 1 centralized exchanges. It provides more guarantees for buyers, consumers, and token holders, so they believe that the project will continue to thrive. And of course, at this point we come to understanding that the token has some future. But it is important to know the founders' aspirations for the future and how they plan to develop their project in detail. If, once again, this is a one-time thing that they did once and then stopped, it's probably not very good. In blockchains, everything is very clear. Blockchains are created based on the requests of developers and community that exist, for example, to make blockchain cheaper. Faster, more transparent, more interactive. In the case of TON, we also have Telegram, for example, on top of everything, it has access to an audience of nearly a billion users, 950 million active monthly users. This was noted by Pavel Durov in one of his recent posts. In other words, all these things together should give you an understanding of the prospects of the token you are considering for investment or trading. So, what is needed to create tokenomics? First of all, determine the essence of the project, the utility of the project, and distribute the tokenomics in such a way that there is no pressure on the price. If you give all investors the chance to sell all their tokens at the time of listing, it won't likely be very well received by retail, by mass users. Thanks Vladimir for that clear and insightful explanation. So now you've got the basics of tokenomics down. It's not just about the digital coins themselves, but the entire economy that surrounds them. Whether you're investing, trading, or just curious, Understanding tokenomics gives you the power to see the bigger picture in the crypto world. That's all for today. Hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more crypto content.